Hi everyone, my name is Janneke and welcome to this short little hip mobility yoga sequence. All you need today is a yoga mat. We're going to start seated with our knees bent. Feet are going to be almost the same width as your yoga mat. You're gonna place your hands behind you on the ground. So coming up onto your fingertips, I want you to puff up your chest. Now start to rock your knees from side to side. So we're just taking a moment to warm up our hip flexors. Good, and then bring it back to center. Now we're gonna try to drop one knee in at a time. So I'm gonna face you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing. So start with dropping one knee and then lift the knee up, opposite knee. So it's going to look slightly different from person to person. If you're fairly tight, it might look like a little bit like this, and that's okay. This is why, why we're doing this sequence, to work on the, that hip mobility. So dropping one knee, then the next. See if you can tap the ground. All right, and then we're gonna move on. So we're going to do exactly what we just did, sweeping our knees from side to side, and then one knee drop, but we're gonna try it without using our hands on the ground. So you're going to shift forward. I'm gonna bring my hands up above my head, so at least I have somewhere to place my hands. Start to sweep your knees from side to side. As you sweep your knees from one side, to shift forward slightly, and then bring it back to center. Sweep them to the opposite side, shift forward, back to center. I'll show it this way as well. Shifting forward and back, forward and back. All right, so we're going to come back to center and then we're gonna do that one knee drop. Starting with your right knee, drop it into center, shift forward, bring it up, shift forward, drop your left knee, Bring it up, right knee, bring it up. I'll demo this way, knee drop and back. Drop and back. Now, if this is really difficult for you, then just keep your hands on the ground. Just keep on working on that. Okay, very good. So we are going to sweep our knees over to the left. Completely over to the left. So your feet, you're starting with your feet, hip distance apart, actually just as wide as your mat where your feet were. Sweep them over to the left. And we're gonna come into like a 90-90 position with our knees. So your, your knee is 90 degree with your hip, 90 degree with your ankle. So on both legs, I'm gonna push that right knee further back, making sure that it's that 90, 90 degree angle. I'm going to flex my feet so I'm protecting my kneecaps and then I'm going to turn my torso towards my left leg. Fingertips on the ground. So we'll do active stretching first. On the inhale, lift your chest. On the exhale, fold over your left leg. So lifting on the inhale, fold on the exhale. Moving with your breath, breathing through your nose. And then inhale, come on up. And then exhale, we're gonna fold forward and hold for a moment. So just walk your hands forward, maybe lower your forearms down, and just let your head drop down for a moment. So let's try to stay for about a minute or so. Walk your hands back, sweep your knees up and over to opposite side. 
So again, you're going to come into that 90-90 position with both legs. I'm going to just turn around so I'm facing you guys. So 90-90, you're going to turn your torso towards your right leg. Come up into your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen, keeping your feet flexed. And then exhale, fold over your right leg. So active stretching first. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. And then lifting, inhale, exhale, fold and hold. So walk your hands forward, maybe lower your forearms down. Walking your hands back, sweep your knees back to center. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together and just let your knees drop out to the side. So again, we're going to start with active stretching. You're gonna grab a hold of the soles of your feet so your thumbs are on the bottom of your feet. And then open your feet like you're reading a book, keeping your elbows in. Inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, push your knees down and then shift forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Move with your breath, inhale, and exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. On the last one here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and fold, drawing your knees down, letting your head drop. Slowly coming up, drawing your knees together. So we're gonna continue with a little bit of hip mobility movement, working on the hips and also stretching out your psoas. I'm going to show you two options. The first option, you're going to start with your knees bent. You're going to tuck that right leg underneath your left leg. And then you're gonna lift the left leg. You're gonna step forward as far as forward as you can. You're gonna lift up and then press your hips forward. Slowly shift back, lower your hips back down, and swap. So tuck your left leg under, big step forward with your right leg, lift up, pressing your hips forward until you feel the full extension of the pose. You're feeling the stretch on your inner thighs and your hip flexors. And then slowly shift back and sit down. Let's do that again. Tuck your right leg under. You can also use your hands if this is difficult. Use your hands, come on up, big step forward, press forward. Again, you can plant your hands as you shift back. So slow and mindful movement, tucking that left leg under. If you need to use your hands, do that. Shift forward and then lower. So go ahead and repeat this movement a few rounds. Inhale and then exhale down. I'm going to show you the second option. You can continue what I just did if that's easier. If you want to make it a little bit more fun using the momentum, you're going to roll down onto your back. You're going to sweep your legs over your head. And then you're going to tuck the right leg under. Come on up, big step forward, press forward. Roll all the way back down again. Sweep your arm, legs up and over. Tucking left leg under, big step forward, press forward. And then slowly rolling down. A few more rounds. Tucking right leg. Big step forward, lower hips, left leg, big step forward. So again, this can be done just sitting and tucking, right? Very good, and then come on down. Okay, so bring your feet as wide as your mat again. Just rock your knees from side to side just to release your hips. I'm 
I'm gonna come into a pigeon from here. You're gonna tuck the right leg under, sweep your left leg back. If you're fairly open, you can move that right ankle a little bit further up. If you're tight, tuck that right leg under slightly more and you can point your right toes. If you feel that you're shifting too far over to your right, if you have a pillow at home, grab a hold of your pillow and place it underneath your right sit bone. You wanna make sure that you can square off your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go ahead and fold forward. We'll do a minute or so. Now, if you're fairly open, if you wanna take it slightly deeper, you have the option to thread your left arm under, so your left shoulder is on the ground. Maybe right hand on your lower back. Slowly come on up, and we're simply gonna swap. We're gonna sweep the left leg to the front, sweep your right leg back. Square off as much as you can, so maybe placing a block or a pillow underneath that left sit bone if you need to. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And if you wanted to take it deeper, you had that option to sweep your right arm under, under so thread your right arm under, shoulder on the ground. Maybe place your left hand on your lower back. Slowly coming up, coming into seated, so sweep both legs to the front. And go ahead and roll down onto your back. You're gonna lower the left leg down, and then you're gonna hug your right knee in towards your chest. Start to add a couple of circles onto that right hip, or so right side. Swapping directions, and make sure you do both directions. And then you're going to come into a happy baby on your right side. So flex your right foot, grab a hold the sole of your right foot, and then start to draw your right knee down towards the ground. You can keep your left leg down on the ground, straight down on the ground, or if it's a little bit easier, then place your left foot on the ground, so bend your left knee. We're doing a fairly long hold here, so just keep drawing that right knee down. If you can't reach the sole of your right foot, you can always grab a hold of your ankle. And if your left foot is not already there, go ahead and bend your left leg. You're going to place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Okay, we're going to tip both legs over to the left so your right foot lands on the ground. If it's available for you, if you're flexible enough, then draw your right heel in just a little bit closer towards your left hip. Extend your right arm out to your right on the ground. Place your left hand on your right inner thigh and just give that right knee just a gentle push. Good, and release. So let's do the opposite side. Roll back, lower right leg down. Go ahead and hug your left knee in. Give it a little squeeze, and then you can start to add a couple of circles. Swapping direction. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're gonna grab a hold of the sole of your left foot. Flex your left foot. The sole of your left foot is facing the ceiling. So grabbing hold of the sole of your left foot, if you can't reach, maybe your ankle, and it starts to draw that left knee down towards the ground. Right hand can go on top of your right thigh. If you need a little bit more space to work with them, bend your right knee. Plant your right foot on the ground if, if it's not already there. And then you're gonna place the left ankle on top of your right knee, keeping that left foot flex, you're protecting your left kneecap. Then go ahead and tip your legs over to your right so your left foot lands on the ground. You can draw your left heel a little bit closer towards your right hip. Extend your left arm out to your left on the ground and place your right hand on your left inner thigh. And just give that left knee just a gentle push with that right hand. So you will feel this stretch at the outer part of your hip, hip flexors, also slightly on your IT band. Good, and release. Go ahead and hug both knees in towards your chest. Gently rock from side to side. Maybe add a couple of circles. And then we're gonna come into that final resting pose, Shavasana. Lowering your legs, palms facing up, and just taking a moment to slow your breath down. Just letting gravity pull you back down to earth. Fully, completely letting go. So just simply breathing in and breathing out. So I encourage you guys to stay for at least a couple of minutes. Mean, meanwhile, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in and doing this little practice with me. If you like what I teach, the best way to support my channel is to subscribe, hit the like button, maybe add a little comment below and let me know what you liked about the class. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Namaste.